coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. She's evil. I know, but she that? didn't maliciously try to say that about you. If Jen called my father a crook, would my sister talk to her? It's just always a double standard, and so it gets very frustrating. You know, when it comes to me, with the entire family, for some reason, I'm the dish rag. It goes both ways. Like my brother, she'd be telling Margaret, lay off my sister, or otherwise it's gonna be a problem between us. Are you still mad about the affair? I dealt with this in the only way that I knew how. I was surprised at how emotional I was. I'm a little bit in shock on how she took it. I was shocked also. I had no idea she never healed from this. So knowing that now, of course I felt horrible that she had to go through that. If you could determine that's a good person, tell me. Okay, then I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. No, no, Bye. No, no. Go. My wife did not dig. That's not a terrible character. I was surprised as hell. I've never seen Evan like that before. We were so shocked, man. Joe, how shocked were we? We were like, whoa. Uh, that, that was the maddest I've ever seen you yeah. in my whole life, ever. <laughs> that wasn't anger, that was just calling bull Bravo Insiders, your Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. Jennifer, at this point, you say that you don't think you had processed the affair the way you thought you had 10 years ago. I didn't. I didn't. Listen, Jennifer, maybe you haven't gotten over it. I see a lot of pent up hurt. So maybe the things that happen with these girls hurt you more because there's already hurt there. I have to say, I, I was surprised at how emotional I was throughout the whole thing. And there were times where I would just, you know, kick myself and be like, oh, like, just like, get it together. I'm a little bit in shock on how she took it. I was shocked also. Dolores, I mean, you want the truth? I had no idea she never healed from this. If anything like that goes on, it's like, I go to therapy, you know, whatever emotional thing, it's like, we deal with it in the moment, we heal, we work it, work through it. We don't bury it, pretend it never happens. So. Knowing that now, of course I felt horrible that she had to go through that. You just can't cut it off, say, okay, buy me a new ring, let me have another baby, let me have two more kids, let's buy a big house, buy my mother a house, do this. All that is all like well and good, but down the road, it's gonna come back and bite you. In my heart of hearts, I think that one of the things that bothers her the most is the perception now of what people will think of her world. Like she was very proud of being the big fish in the pond. She was very proud of having the doctor husband and the Taj Mahal and you know the, the Chanel and the this and that and you know carte blanche. Very proud of that. But now people can look at it and say, well, was it worth it? I'm sorry, there's a lot of band-aids. There's a lot of band-aids that were put on that relationship. Yeah, listen, it's not an easy thing because things are never the same after that. I don't care what anybody says. They may be better, but they're still never the same. That's always something that stays in, in the back of your head. Of course. Jennifer's value is based on, in my opinion, of what other people think of her, based on her reaction and worried about what everybody else thinks, that her value is perceived from that. So that's, I, that's why I feel bad. And that's an unfortunate thing. And that has to come from within. And you have to work on yourself for that. And that's when I said she's not truly happy. And it's not because what Bill did. It's because her perception is always, what does everyone think of me? What do I have? You know, that's that's the way I feel. And I think I, I called it. I think I've gotten a lot of backlash. Everyone's like, oh, you're jealous. There's nothing to be jealous of. And that You know, there's nothing to be jealous of. I am not defined by my material possessions and what everyone thinks of me. And I think her definition of was, I'm a doctor's wife and I have a big house. You know, the curtain was pulled back from Oz. And I think that's what upset her. We both tried so hard to do whatever we can to make this relationship work for the children, you know, and for the life. And when I say the life, I don't mean like the house. I mean the home, the home that Bill and I have created for my children. I, and, and it's scary to me to think that it, the more we talk about things, the more, what if we realize we don't want to be together? Is that a risk we're willing to take? He's not. 
He's not. He's like, I want to be married to you for the rest of my life. I want you and I to be a family with our children for the rest of I don't care like if fucking Cinderella comes rolling in on a red carpet with her titties out. He's like, I don't want to be with anybody Aww. but you. You are the mother with my of my children. And I look at him and I'm like, I have to fight for him just as much. This is my way of processing. You can take it however you want. Sign of weakness, this, that. At the end of the day, I am unbothered by what you think. Okay? I am just doing whatever I need to do to release this negative energy and this tension. I don't give a Throughout the history of the show, there's always been a lot of talk of the loyalty or lack thereof between the Judices and the Gorgas. You know what you sister said? That's my sister. Excuse my French. Go f yourself. Wait a second. What are you going to say now? I should have stuck up for you when she I said bet. you should be in jail. Whatever she said, both of you guys would be like, Really? Because all of a sudden you're a weak bitch who can't defend yourself? So what was it like having Teresa demand you have Louis back? but you and Joe maybe don't get the same treatment in return. I mean, it felt disappointing, I have to imagine. For me, pretty typical. Just whatever, I just feel like we have to be soldiers, like, and we get told every little minute of like, you better stick up for, you better, you know, I get the text, you better do the right thing, you better not, but then as soon as her friend does it. Even he, little bitch girl, came in and commented. Not much gets said, I think that, we had someone in our house at our Christmas party at season three when we were barely getting along, but it was season three when I threw that Christmas party and Teresa was going through the courts and dealing with all of this stuff and we found out somebody brought a guest to our party that had something to do with her court situation and we walked up to the woman within three seconds and told her she has to leave our house. I can't let Monica stay, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't do that. Kim, Monica's gotta go. You know, here, here I am throwing another woman out of my house. I don't like to do that. That was someone's uh, mother, wife. I threw her out because she was there. And I, yeah, and I always have her back. So I think it's very obvious that we are very loyal and we are the ones who don't talk about it all the time, but we actually do it. So I think there's a big difference in saying, I love my family, I love my family, I'm loyal to my family, I love my family. And there's a big difference between that and actually being the one who does something about it. I don't know. I see Joe always act in the right direction when it comes for his sister. He he puts his money where his mouth is. He backs her up. When she was not here, he was, you know, with her children. When, you know, when, when she's down and out, I feel like Joe is there. And it's just, it's hard sometimes because I think everyone forgets. It's never reciprocated. If, if that was me and... Let's say Margaret threw my sister out of the house, vice versa. Uh, I, I would have never heard the end of it. My nieces would probably say nasty things about me. You know, it would, it, and my sister would constantly remind me over and over and over, you didn't stick up for me, you didn't leave, you should have left the house. How dare you stay there when she kicked me out, you know? I, I would have heard it a thousand different times. I mean, if, if Jen called my father a crook, would my sister talk to her? You know, think about that. You know, if, if she called my mom a crook, I wonder how she would react. If she said something about her daughters. You know, when it comes to me, it's like with the entire family, for some reason, I'm the dish rag. They can shit on me, shit on me. If I say one thing, oh! It's the end of the world. I, I feel sorry for myself. I really do in so many ways. I mean, family is supposed to be family, you know, and I don't know. It's just always a double standard, and so it gets very frustrating for me and for, for her brother. We get we get frustrated, and I feel like that's why sometimes we go in a circle and we always end up in the same spot of, like, or people get confused with us, and they're just like, you know, we don't believe, like, do you and Teresa really – you know, get along now? Do you really feel like family? And I get sometimes why people get confused because it's confusing. Joe, at the pink party, you tell Teresa that, you know, you find Jennifer to be evil, but she thinks that what she did was never meant to be malicious. I'm not gonna argue with you, but you gotta understand, she's evil. I know, but she that. didn't maliciously try to say that about you. Jennifer literally went on social media and tried and said all these nasty things. I mean, she really went hard. I mean, it, it was bad. 
I mean, what is there to know? I mean, she she basically went so hard on her brother, and she, she does know who she is. Well, I mean, she was friends with Kim D. She was friends with a lot of people on the show who didn't end up being good people. So I think there is a little pattern here for some reason. Um, you know, it's just she can't see it. Teresa likes attention, you know, and Jen kisses her ass. And because maybe she kisses her ass so much, my sister looks the other way. But Teresa knows who she is. And at one point, Teresa even offers to stop talking to Jennifer if you'd like. If you don't want me to talk to her anymore, I won't. You make your own decision. But my family should back me up because that's what brothers and sisters do. Do you really think she would have gone through with that? I don't know if she would have. I feel like she was in a little bit of a desperate mode at that point. When Teresa cries and breaks down, she's definitely in a spot where she's confused and like lost. So she might have, I don't know. I mean, she might have, but that's just not who we are. We're not gonna tell someone not to be friends with someone. Because I don't want, I don't wanna tell you I want you to stop being friends with you. I want to feel important in your life. I want you to do the right thing as a sister. I'm not going to tell you who to be friends with or not be friends with. See, she would tell me, I don't want you to be friends with that person. She would. And I can't believe you're hanging out with them. And I'm like, all right. So then I slowly has to distance myself, you know, because I don't like conflict. I'm not, I don't like enemies. But um, I'm not going to tell you who to hang out with or who not to hang out with. Were you relieved to not have to make a choice between your friends and family? Relieved, I mean, I mean, I would hope they would not tell me to do that, but I just wanted to ask them that if that's something like they wanted me to do. And, um, and so I'm glad their answer was no. You know, I'm glad they said that. I mean, I've, I'm sure if I told her, she would, she would be caught in a situation she would have to not, but, but I shouldn't have to tell her. She already proved it to me that she was telling me, no, I choose her over you. In so many words, right? It, it goes both ways. Same thing like she's friends with Margaret. And here's Margaret coming at me. Like, I feel like she should be setting Margaret straight and like lay off my sister-in-law. Like my brother, she'd be telling Margaret, lay off my sister or otherwise it's gonna be a problem between us. If the roles were reversed, it would have been a major problem. It would have been a major problem. Just like I was getting text messages, make sure you're not saying anything about Louis. Like, it's like, but then, okay, so don't say anything about my husband either. Don't let anyone say anything about your brother either. I just, it's a double standard sometimes. Evan, we see you get pretty heated at guys night. She was big. I understand. So, so she's people not can be nosy. People no, that's not, that's not, I'm not a nosy person. She's trying to find stuff to hurt individual people. That is not a good person. Well, yeah, I don't sit, I don't sit, sit with somebody that's gonna protect terrible behavior. That's an accomplice to murder. I don't <laughs> want that. You have to agree with the guy. The defense rest. You're good. Yeah. You know what I mean, you're saying. It's simple. Yeah. Sorry. These guys know I try to never really get involved in anything at all. So it must have triggered me in some way. I hate like inconsistencies or hypocritical type activity so to say that she didn't do something which obviously was infuriating it's not really having um any sense of reality it's, and, and it's you know it's it's uh insulting to me as well to say that my wife did not dig she's entitled to ask the next question like many people ask the next question that's a curiosity to many people it may not be me it may not be someone else uh but people are entitled to ask that next question. Those are not bad behaviors. Those, that's not a terrible character. Her calling Frank to discuss something else, and by the way, saying, hey, Frank, uh, I hear you know this girl, right? That's not digging. I wanted it more of an apology from him because he's a smart guy. You know, he went to college for 32 years. You know, he became a doctor. You would at least know that, listen, my wife is a disaster and let me apologize to this amazing man of a friend. I don't want to lose this guy, you know? You get, did they educate that to you in college? I mean, I, you get educated on the streets in Patterson. I learned that, you know? I don't know. So I was a little shocked. I was surprised as hell. I've never seen Evan like that before. Uh, but then again, listen, it, it, it wasn't an issue between Bill and Evan. 
it, it was an issue. Both of them were defending their wives, all right? Their significant others. The two of them were defending one another, and it, it got heated to a little bit. And I was like, you did what now? I was so surprised. Yeah. I was in shock. I was in shock when yes, Joe told me. Yes, he was really frustrated because Evan was not happy. I mean, he could give a shit about the actual, like, it's not the digging for information, like, because we know there's nothing to be found. It's the it's the point of trying to actively be a part of destroying someone's family. He didn't get an apology ever from her, even though he had been in the same room with her a, a number of times. And I think at that point when Bill said, you know, my wife is a good person, it just like Evan had just heard enough. You know, he reaches a breaking point. I normally don't like to get involved like that. Sometimes it comes out, you know, I, I have another side that has been suppressed for a long time, <laughs> but I, I try I try to behave. We were so shocked, man. Joe, how shocked were we? We were like, whoa. I, that that was the maddest I've ever seen you yeah. in my whole life, ever. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No. He was like, oh yeah, And you really? still weren't that mad. No, you should see me play <laughs> basketball. Why'd he go to one of some of his kids' uh, sports games? Yeah. No, oh, that's another story. Yeah, no, I've, I've gotten kicked out of so many. Yeah, no, it's... Uh... So I'll tell you one thing. Anger never got me anywhere. That wasn't anger. That was just calling bullshit. Also at your pink party, this is where Tracy kind of gets involved. Find said, Louis, you're a f***ing little bitch boy for... You would f***ing so not. You I wouldn't would. give a f***ing like he's my bitch boy. I I think if Teresa were were arguing with Margaret that night and Margaret very snarkily looked at Louie and said, listen to me, you little bitch boy, I think Teresa would have been fuming. I think she would have went crazy. And I think that if one of my good friends, like Jackie or someone, called Louie a little bitch boy, you know, Teresa would have went nuts. She would have went nuts. Are you kidding? She would explode. She would explode. You know, listen, I appreciate it's It's all the delivery, and I feel like Tracy is great with her delivery. She's not coming at Teresa. She's not trying to bring Teresa down or hurt Teresa. Like, who are you? Like, you don't even know, like, you don't know any dynamics between me and my family unless you do know something that maybe Melissa told you and then that's why you're opening your mouth. I mean, Tracy's really not new. She's been my friend for a long time. She knows our relationship to a T. She knows exactly what our relationship is. So I feel like that was her way of, she's kind of like giving her advice and just saying like, listen, you need to like listen to where your family's coming from, where your brother's coming from. And I feel like Tracy's like, okay, here, like, let me be like a third party here trying to explain to Teresa, you know, and she wasn't doing it in like a pointing her finger kind of way. She was just trying to offer some advice to be like, here, let me like, let me make this clear for you. If this happened to you, you would freak. And I, I think she did it the right way. And I think it was helpful. I felt like, like, who are you? Like, I don't know you. Um, like you, she, like she needs to stay in her lane, like seriously, like, and not you know, like, and not get into my family's business. I don't know. I just thought she was being a little too much, too quick. It's like, you just get to know me first before you have an opinion. And before the guys night even happens, we hear there's a text thread and Joe Gorga, you only write in it, F you, Bill. Yeah. Joe Benigno started this group text. Can't wait to see you, Bill. Everybody's saying something nice. And I say, F you, Bill. What do you mean, F you, Bill? Why would you do that? You know, at first I thought it was a joke. You know, F you, you piece of shit. You're like, uh, you know what? We, that's, that's almost guy code for, you know, like, a, it's a term of endearment in a way. And, and, and I didn't know whether it was a joke, whether it was serious. In fact, I called Joe Benigno. I said, Joe, did you see that? He's like, yeah. I said, was he kidding? He goes, I didn't know. He goes, I didn't talk to him about it. I said, well, what the, what the hell is going on? It came way out of the blue. I didn't expect Joe to be able to, to be saying that amongst the bunch of us because we're all friends. But if he had that strong enough feelings, like, uh, which he does, so, oh well. There was probably a, a small part of me that's like, oh, maybe there is something a little bit more to it. You know, and, and so we went to the, you know, the guy's night dinner that night and, and I, Still not knowing whether Joe Gorga was joking or he was serious. 
Yeah, I mean, look, I, I went with the intent of, you know, hang out, so to speak. And I said, I'll, I'll question it. I'll ask him straight up. You know, that's how it should be. I'll ask him to see if that was a joke or not. Right. He's a funny guy. He jokes. Right. He's up doing stand up comedy now. But it was his intent at that point. Um, like, I have a beef with you. And, you know, he did have a beef. Yeah. You know why I wrote it? Because I, the more I sat there and thought about it, because I say I'm so nice. I really, I am. I'm one of the nicest guys. I don't like to fight. I don't like conflict. I love everybody. But the more I sat there and thought about it, I'm saying, well, I got kicked out of their house, which I've never really get kicked out of many people's houses. And he's my friend. He didn't even shoot me a text or a phone call. Say, yeah, listen, man, these women are nuts. I'm sorry, you know, I love you, I respect you. I didn't mean for that to happen. There was nothing. So the more I'm thinking about it, I started getting aggravated. I'm like, you know what? Guys night, these are my friends, F you. That's how I felt. 